I keep thinking about chips in my head and 3D printing kids. So yeah. can we just talk about that briefly? So say the singularity happens at 2045. And the point is, is even if it's 2045 or even if it's 2095 or 2295, the point is, is it's gonna happen, yeah. right? And most people will agree it's gonna happen, right? I don't know if most people on the planet will agree it's gonna happen, but uh, it's gonna happen anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> regardless. Um, what does this look like? I got chips in my head, I'm 3D printing kids. Like, what? explain to me, like, what does that life look like? Oh, I, th I think we're gonna have a lot more choice over what that life looks like than we do right now. And there's gonna be a lot more diversity of what different people's lives look like, right? So I mean, I mean, because virtual reality will advance. So I mean, one, one possibility will be you just give up your body and upload yourself into a computer. You could just live in various virtual reality video game type worlds, right? And For then- eternity. Yeah, 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 exactly. It could be whatever game you want, right? So that, that sounds almost like s So senseless. that's one option. Now, an, another, another option, I mean, just like we have the Amish people now who live in, in Pennsylvania in the U.S., and they, they, they don't like to use electricity very much, and they, they farm, and they maintain an old-fashioned traditional lifestyle by choice. And they're very thoughtful about which technologies they choose to use at which point in time. Like they realize cell phones are valuable for saving lives and certain purposes. So they discuss, okay, we'll have phones, but we'll keep them turned off most of the time and we'll only turn them on in, in this context and so forth, right? So okay. I think there will be people who want to maintain a traditional human lifestyle and just like the Amish now want to maintain the traditional, you know, farming lifestyle similar to U.S. from the 1800s. And my hope is those people will be allowed to do that also. So that then you, you could get a lot of different communities which have sort of different rules about what to do, right? You, you can imagine some who are really retro and they don't want you to 3D print babies. They, they want you to, to make, them the, make them the old fashioned way, right? Right. You can imagine others who want to maintain regular human form and go about doing things in the biological human world, but aren't hung up on use of advanced technology within that context. But then, I mean, if, if, if you imagine, imagine, say, London was like a human preserve, right? So p people who want to remain in their human bodies and living sort of human-like lives rather than uploading into video game worlds or fusing with the superhuman AI, what would London look like in that context? Well, no one has to work for a living anymore, so there, there's, no more, there, there, there's no more offices and, and, and jobs, right? Because stuff that you need can just be 3D printed and, and, and provided to you, and you know, the tube can run automatically, controlled by, by AIs, you, 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 don't, you don't need you don't need people operating it. So then what, 3D printing babies, of course there's limited space in London still, right? So I mean, the, if people don't die, there would have to be some limit on, on producing new humans or, or, all, or all the space gets filled and, up, and, right? So and who makes be, those rules? Because like you said, Putin well, said, whoever creates the AI rules the world. I will say this is, is London, it, it's, it's still a democracy at this point. Is so it? So that should be democratically, what if Russia develops the AI and then it rules the world? Then well, maybe this but, isn't a but democracy. By this, by this point, there will be AIs that are vastly more powerful and intelligent than human beings. So I would view the democracy in a future human London like this sort of like the student council in high school or something. Doesn't mean anything. I mean, well, it means something to the students, right? right. And so, so they're basically our overlords. The AIs are overlords. Yeah, but they're, they're very chill overlords. Like they don't, they don't care. There's no reason an, a super AI is going to care about regulating the details of, 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 of human lives. No reason? <laughs> why, why would it? I mean, I, I think... Know. Why have us around? Well, that's a different question, right? So, I mean, consider like the squirrels in the park or the ants in your backyard, right? Like yeah, if, we, if you want to put up a new house, you may 
bulldoze over those ants to put up the house. Yeah. And just because you don't care that much and, and, and they're in your way. And that, that's one thing. But there's very little, you have very little interest in choosing which worker ant gets to mate with the queen ant, for example, right? Yes. You could, but it's not really worth your time. You're, 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 you're dealing with other stuff. And you, you don't have a lot of interest in which ant get, lives in which hole or something, right? So I think this scenario where AIs want to enslave people or interfere with the minutiae of human life, I think that those are very unlike, unlikely possibilities. I think there is a plausible possibility where AIs are just much smarter and more intelligent and better than us, and they treat us the same way we treat squirrels or ants, right? Okay. Which is just not the best. And but not, we have a consciousness. So we leave some on it on national parks. I mean, some. Yeah, yeah. We, some we, well, we don't want farm. to extinct those species, but we're right. Not but that's because we have a consciousness, and we have a conscience, and we have organic we biology. We have conscience. We have some morality. Yeah, but I not that much. Have that necessarily. It may well. It may have more than us. Maybe. Right? Yeah. Ours is not that strong in the end, as you can yeah, see in the human not. world around you. So I think there's a set of possible realities where the AI wants to help take care of humans out of love and compassion and nostalgia, right? And there's this gratitude for creating it. And yeah, there's a set that'll of, get old after a while. There's a set <laughs> of realities where the AI is just indifferent to, okay. to humans. And both of those need to be thought about. I think the set of realities where the AI is malevolent to us or wants to enslave us or meddle in details of human affairs, that just seems extremely remote and, un and unlikely.